Hey everybody, it's Mary Shores here, and today I want to talk to you about vision boards and birthdays. So I'm just going to like introduce myself while my assistant is getting it shared in the places we want to share. Yesterday was my 44th birthday, and I am so excited because it, I actually wasn't feeling good. I had this like horrible allergy attack, and I'm just recovering today, and it's going super, super well. But what I wanted to think about yesterday while I wasn't feeling good is this vision board that I made for my 40th birthday. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the power of vision boards and the power of creating a vision board. So when I, on my 40th birthday, I created this vision board. It's a little bit out of focus, but I'm going to um, post some pictures of it if you want to see like any areas of it up close and personal. So I, um, it takes me a while to create these vision boards because I, I really like to make them super, super detailed. But some of the things that I put on this vision board four years ago were like my deepest, deepest desires in life. And um, I wanted to take a moment to talk about like why vision boards work, why vision boards work, what is my process of creating a vision board, and talk about like what my results have been. So the first thing I wanted to say about that is like vision boards are very powerful because they, because your optical nerve is connected, the fastest connection to the deep center portion of your brain in your subconscious mind. So because the optical nerve moves at such lightning speed, you don't have to necessarily focus on the things that are on your vision board because just by walking by it on a daily basis, like this one has been hanging in my bedroom ever since I made it four years ago. So every time I even just glance in the general direction of it, what's happening is I am reinforcing all of the neural networks in my subconscious that are gonna help me create the things on the vision board. So that's why vision boards work. It's not like some hocus pocus. And what I recommend is that if you take the time to make a vision board, put it somewhere where you can see it every day. So I actually have another one hanging over there in my office. I have two this size, and this is actually huge. Um, in my bedroom, and then I have another one in my bathroom. So I'm like always super excited. Every time I walk by, they just put me in a good mood. They're beautiful. I love creating them. So my process is that I really want to capture the essence of what it is that I want. So like right here, I found this picture at like a retreat that I went to. I cut it out out of my pamphlet and put it on here because it really, to me, it represents my spiritual growth. I've got um, this girl right here on this and um, she's, she like, re to me, represents this like wild woman of like the untamed feminine wild spirit, which is like something that's big and powerful with me, within me right now. I've got um, 40 to represent my birthday and reinvent your life because I felt like at 40, that was like the beginning stage of the next era of my life. Now my birthday yesterday, I was 44. So it's been four years since I have made this vision board. I just put all kinds of things on here that represent what I love in life, what I wanted to draw more of to myself. And I also got very specific like um, right here, which I know that you can't see like the specific words because it's out of focus, but um, right here it says published. And so that was four years ago and I definitely was able to publish my first book with Hay House and it's doing extremely well. It's only been out for a couple of months, but it's already hit some number one best-selling lists and I'm super excited about that. And so all in all, like I put a lot of things that represent creativity, a lot of things that represent the feminine fire, and drawing in the things that I wanted in life, which at that time I was wanting to publish, I was wanting to bring out more of my feminine qualities, and um, just like this says something wild, I just wanted to have that wild, like wild time through life, and it definitely worked. So now that I'm feeling like pretty complete with this board, it's gonna be time for me to be making another one. And 
I thought maybe I'd make another one at 45, but I'm going to make one at 44. So I would definitely um, keep everyone updated on that. If anybody wants any vision board pointers or like wants to know how to make their own vision board, I'm totally open to that and maybe even doing a webinar. Just shoot me any questions or comments that you have. And remember, vision boards are powerful because your optical nerve is a straight connection to the deepest centers in your subconscious mind. And so whatever you put on this vision board, it's a great way to reinforce the brain wiring that you want to manifest in your life. So thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.